WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of what looks like it's going to be a rainy Delray Beach, Florida, with your 2 p.m. update. And currently we have a bit of a mixed bag out here. You've got the Dow and the S&P up. New York Stock Exchange is up just slightly. Dow's up 31. The S&P's up 9. NASDAQ is flat. It's off 2 points. Russell's down 15 points, 7 tenths of a percent. Semi's off 4 points. They're basically flat out there. You've got the uh, gold is trading up 15 bucks. 1938.50. Silver's up 27 pennies, 24.73. Lights we crude off 56 pennies. Trade at 95.68. Natural gas up 28 cents. The 30 year Treasury down one uh, point and eight ticks. 144.06 is the uh, print. So let's do this here. Let's go take a look. Let's do some of our play by play stuff. See exactly what's going on right now. So we can leave you with this. We're looking at our 30 minute time frame charts for the equity future contract. So what do we have out here? Well, yesterday at about 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, you had a nice roads momentum indicator bottom. And since then, we've basically been trading in a consolidation range out there. Now, the cool thing, I don't have that consolidation measured off. It's about 44.97 to about 44. 48. Um, so what do you got? About 50 points, give or take. That says when you, if this breaks a consolidation, you should expect or anticipate a move equal to or greater than a consolidation. Now, the break of that would be a close about 44.96.75. You've got a TD nine count bottom that also formed this morning that is held. So watch 44.96.75. That could be where this rally peters out. If we take a look at the, the NQ out here, really similar, although it broke through yesterday's Rhodes Mintum Indicator bottom signal, wave number seven, and I don't have a bottom signal out here as we speak. But nonetheless, if the NQ is able to close above 14, 643.50, to be exact, that says we've got more rally. TD9 count bottom inside the Dow. The Dow is quickly approaching its next resistance level, 34,506. You close above that, and what the Dow should do is make a move, the Dow equity future contract, that is, make a move to 34,608. Russell 2000, TD9 count bottom inside a bullish structured profile above the center of that profile, above the oscillator and change line. The Russell 2000 is going to make a B line for 201580. But just above that is the next resistance zone, and that's 2025.10. So here's the deal. If you close about 44.96.75 in the ES, you close about 14.643.50 in the NQ, 34.506 in the YM, and 2025.10, it says rally on. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear's up next. I'll see you tomorrow on Fantastic Friday. Have a terrific Thursday, folks.